Good morning, Opie and Anthony. There's a lot of interesting stories in the paper today. You got a woman uh, falling off a cruise ship. <laughs> Oops, another one. I laugh because uh, she didn't fall off no cruise ship. Yeah, it's my, uh, it's our humble opinion that uh, there was an oop, an oopsie that occurred. Oopsie. It's the best way to get rid of someone you don't like. I don't know if anyone's ever been convicted of murder for a, a throwing someone off a cruise ship. God, it seems like the best way to kill somebody. Like the food, they never find him. Yeah, that's what happens. Uh, now, this the latest uh, woman, she's with some guy, I guess her boyfriend, and um, it's 45 miles off of Atl Atlantic City. So, you're in the ocean. You're in the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> and, uh, oopsie, she falls overboard. And then the guy uh, reports her missing. Anthony, you've been on a lot of these, not a lot, of, oh, a few. Yeah, uh, a lot of cruises. Actually, a lot, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Isn't it kind of hard to fall off a cruise ship? It is so damn hard. You have to, on purpose, you have to throw yourself over the rail. And then hope you don't, like, hit maybe a lifeboat or or the uh, uh, walkway around the ship that's wider than the, the part that you're jumping off of. Uh, you, you can't just fall off of these things. Really, especially since it's not the heavy seas or anything. And a waves crashing over the bow. Yeah. <laughs> and um, you really would have to, on purpose, throw yourself off. Well, here's uh, here's the story. What he told me on the phone was she fell over the railing and fell. Oh, yeah, this is uh, the mom. You know, I, I feel bad for the family, obviously, but uh, come on. Something's going on here. Uh, I guess the boyfriend had to call the mom. Yeah. And this is what you're hearing. How long after did he report her missing, though? Like, if they wait a while. Three hmm. days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Uh he says she fell over the rail. Right then is like, right there is, is, is she falling over the rail? What are you reaching for? What are you climbing up on the rail? You got to say you don't know. You you just were separated for a while. You were on the bowl, and you thought she was riding on the ship somewhere. Yeah. Buy yourself some time. Yeah, no kidding. This is so suspicious. All of these are suspicious. All of them are. Yeah. What he told me on the phone was she fell over the railing and fell to something down on the lower deck, and that he went, ran to try to save her, but she lost her grip and fell. Oh, that sounds that doesn't sound good at all. No, he's lying. He, she fell. She was uh, holding on to something. He tried to save her. So I guess right away he, he said, oh, she just fell over. Right. Or that's so he says. And then she's holding on, and you think he's taking his like his uh, sneaker to her, to her, to her yeah. fingers? Just yeah. pounding away at her face. You, the, that's probably the best thing to do is you throw someone off, then you wait, you wait, and you wait, and then you run and go, oh, my God, they just fell overboard. That way they're, they're only looking around the area right around the ship at that time. Meanwhile, you left her, pfft, left her in the dust. Are there cameras on the ships at all, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all there right, are so cameras. You might have to just uh, you have to know where the cameras are not. Yeah, when that's you do true. It. Uh, but you also... Well, if you're going to kill your spouse, you got to do a little work. You can't just like, you yeah. know, got to do your homework. Got to do your homework. You got to look around and see where you can see cameras yeah. and all that. Go to an area where it is less populated. Make sure it's later at night mm -hmm. after you had a few. Maybe it, was it the balcony of a room, perhaps? Uh, a railing on a walkway? Like, I, I, they don't give you enough details. Philadelphia area mother is devastated. Digesting the news, her 46-year-old daughter was the victim of a cruel accident at sea. Mindy Jordan was on board the Norwegian Dawn cruise ship on her way from Manhattan to Bermuda. Around 8 p.m. Sunday night, 45 miles off the Atlantic City coast, she reportedly fell overboard. See, they're saying reportedly. Reportedly. Because everyone. She ridiculously fell overboard. You can't get uh, convicted for murder for a push. That's almost impossible. <laughs> a push. It's hard to prove, you're right. Uh, that would be, how would you prove that if mm -hmm. there's no camera around? Unless they there's find no evidence teeth, left behind. Your teeth prints in her knuckles when they find her. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you, like your, your shoe print on her forehead. <laughs> it was helping. Well, that's just it. They never uh, they never find these people. No, I want to no. shot to get them. Or, or yeah, just see you know, see, little sea animals. First they come, they pluck your eyeballs out. And you're just floating around there with no eyeballs. And then they eat your lips away. <laughs> you remember the, um, we did the story back in the day. Some guy fell off an aircraft carrier. And yeah. uh, it was legit. He was he was fooling around. And uh, I forgot exactly the details, but he fell. 
and he's in the water, and he watches the aircraft carrier just going on its merry way because no one saw him fall off the ship. Can you imagine the fear of being in the ocean? Like, oh boy. And there's the boat just going in the distance. And no one knows you're missing. No one knows. You can't yell loud enough to get anyone's attention. Like, when is somebody going to figure out I'm missing? Well, this guy, because he was, uh, you know, he was he was a Navy guy. He yeah. he was able to survive. He Got figured some out some stuff. Skills. And uh, like a fisherman's boat picked him up days later, something like that. Did he have a boat or anything with him, like a light boat? Nothing. Hell no. He was just floating around the ocean, and he uh, took his pants off and uh, tied up the legs and uh, and the waist. How do you and tie the waist? I don't know. He he would he actually crumpled it, I think, and then he would blow air into one leg and hold that and and use that as a float. Yeah, you just wouldn't have to like even it. tie up the waist area actually, because all you have to do is get air in it. You yeah. know what I mean? And the air would, would yeah, be you above the water. Still float. You but uh, but holes in the knees that would suck. <laughs> yeah. But he had he should have taken care of that. <laughs> he had to like uh, keep blowing up his like, the leg of his pants like every five minutes or something ridiculous. But he did it, and <clears> uh, <throat> a fisherman's uh, boat came around, and the guy survived. It was on like sixty minutes or one of those shows. It was an amazing story. How happy are you when you see that boat show up? Oh wow. Can we, can Toodaloo. Oh, hello. Wow. Uh, so the the next clip here, more to the story that's happening today. If you think that your life means anything, <laughs> yeah, it means something to your loved ones and some some friends of yours. Maybe uh, maybe one or two coworkers. That's it. Yeah. Outside that circle of people, your life doesn't mean crap to the rest of the world. Nope. This is a perfect example of that. Listen to this. Coast Guard choppers were searching for her from 10 p.m. to 3 in the morning, but no sign of life. I said, you told me they didn't find her body. We have, you know, we want them to find her. We hope, we're still hoping that they find her. Julie, they're not even looking at you. Cruise managers Ooh. initially dispatched a small rescue boat, but after the Coast Guard arrived, the captain resumed his course to Bermuda. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Feeling hot, hot, hot. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Wow. Hey, they make it look good, but it's like, hey, we got to get to Bermuda. These people want to do some parasailing. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're sorry for the inconvenience. Um, we're back uh, on course to Bermuda. And uh, remember to sign up for that Contiki cruise right. uh, that will be taking the booze cruise tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun once we get to Bermuda. Uh, don't mind the person that fell on board and uh, died a horrible death. Also, want to remind you, it's casino night. Uh, casino night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go down to the casino. Uh, check out the band, too. Really, really. Got a great reggae band down there uh, tonight. Uh, try not to fall overboard. We really want to keep on schedule. You might notice the music's going to be a little louder uh, tonight on the cruise ship. That's to muffle the sounds of horror. <laughs> we want to muffle the sounds of crying coming from cabin 2403. <laughs> so don't mind the louder music today. <laughs> uh, this is fun. It's one on one. Uh, yeah, you know, I had a lot of fun. But I went with a hell of a lot of people. I went, like family and friends and everything. A lot of fun. First thing we're going to do when we get to Bermuda is get rid of old Buzzkill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the party must go on. <laughs> yes, uh, we'll be dropping the murderer off uh, at the airport. I mean the... Uh, uh, oh, the, uh, 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 the, boyfriend. the boyfriend. Right, the boyfriend. Right. right. The boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do a bunch of... It's, it's like you're um, kind of taking your hotel room with you to various it's, beaches. It's, Hey, you, you didn't fun. you didn't say rock coat this time around. The rock coat. That was Patrice's uh, bit. Oh my god. Yeah. I bought her a rock coat, man. <laughs> the rock coat. Feeling hot. Right hot, to the hot, bottom. Hot. Feeling hot, hot. People, you know, there's a, a horrible death. People are uh, uh, in mourning. Uh, let's say, you know, the guy didn't do it. He's got to be feeling horrid. Yeah. And there it is. There's the conga line. He looks out his window. You know what, though? As Just human, these people conga lining. As human beings, we're all the same. Yeah. All they had to do is get a few distractions on board, and it's, it's uh, you know, business as usual. Maybe a few a few drinks laying around for free. That's it, right? Some kind of limbo contest all yeah. of a sudden appears. You're like, just you get a distraction. Ooh, look at that. You forget about the chatter that someone might have fallen, fallen overboard. Did you hear somebody? Oh. 